Okay, in this session, we are going to understand enhanced or extended relationship model. Okay, also known as EER, double ER model. This model gives me some extra tools so that I can model some complex concepts tools for modeling complex concepts okay so let's start with what these concepts are the first concept is specialization specialization well this is very similar to the concept of inheritance we have in programming languages inheritance I think it's not very legible right I'll write it again it is inheritance in programming languages Inheritance of programming languages. Specialization basically means in real world I would have certain entities which have some very specific attributes, right? For example, we have persons who are employed okay we have persons who are businessmen we have persons who are self-employed right so all these are basically persons but they have some extra features because of the fact that they are either employed or businessman or self-employed for example this employed guy has a salary this employed guy works in a company okay this businessman probably owns a company right this businessman probably gets to keep a percentage of the profits right the self-employed guy probably he is a doctor he has a shop or a clinic right he has a profession his profession could be he could be a doctor he could be a lawyer he could be an accountant he's not working in a company but he's working for himself he's self-employed he has an annual income okay it's not a fixed salary it's not a profit it's it's his income so we realize that there can be three new entities that we can form out of a person entity this process when we carve out a new entity from an existing entity and this new entity has some specific features apart from the common features that all these entities have then this process is called as a specialization okay we represent a specialization by is a okay by a is a symbol is a, a person is a employed person or he is a businessman 